What is going on guys? Miguel Fuentes coming at you from MiguelJFuentes.com and today we're talking about affiliate marketing for beginners. Let's understand your strategies. Where do you start? Where do you get going? What's the ideal strategy for you? That's what we're talking about in this video. Let's go. Okay, before we get stuck into this video, guys, I want to make sure that you've taken a second to put a like on the video, subscribe, and then share it out for someone else so they can understand their affiliate marketing strategy as well. Let's get into it. First things first, what is affiliate marketing? What are the benefits of it? Guys, affiliate marketing is exactly what it sounds like. You become an affiliate with a program, a service, a product, and then you're able to sell those things. The big, big benefit of it is you didn't have to create it yourself. And they're constantly creating new and awesome products for you to share, create some sales, income, and revenue just by being an affiliate with whatever company or product you decide to, to be a part of. How can we really make this work? How is it that we can develop a strategy that will help us to be successful in affiliate marketing. There are two specific ways in which you can go about creating some success in affiliate marketing. The first one is the more direct, more traditional approach, which is simply just networking and prospecting. Simply just getting out there, talking to people, finding out what their needs and wants and hopes and goals are, and then asking them if they're open to taking a look at a product that can help them do that. Networking and prospecting. More properly, like using sites like Facebook, Instagram, social media, things where you're interacting and really connecting with people. Those are kinds of the ideal places if that is your personality. And we're going to get into that. So stick with me. We're going to get into that part of it here in just a moment. But let's flip the coin. Let's flip the coin just real quick and take a look at the other half. What's the other half of marketing that we could potentially go into and start having success in affiliate marketing? First thing that comes to mind is YouTube videos creating passive content, creating content that's gonna last the test of time that through time will start to create and produce leads and sales and income for whatever affiliate marketing program that you're a part of that you're promoting. This is things like doing blog posts, using YouTube to create videos, doing videos on Facebook, possibly running some ads if you're in that space. Okay, this is just my two cents on the situation, okay? This is just my two cents on the situation. In my opinion, I honestly feel like if you're brand new, you've never been a part of a business, you've never run a business, you've never gone out there and marketed a product before, I definitely feel like networking and prospecting is a great place to start. Now there's a ton of ways to start learning how to network and prospect like a champion so you can actually start getting results. In fact, I'll leave a little link here so you can go up there and check out a video. I've done several videos on creating rapport, connecting with people, closing sales, all that stuff. So go up there and check it out. And this is an ideal place to start because it creates a small income very quickly. Now, the thing about networking and prospecting that might not be appealing is the fact that the more time you put in, the more results you get. So you end up, you only get results when you're putting in work and effort and time into talking to people, meeting new people, connecting and closing sales. That takes time, that takes effort, that takes a lot of things that, that have to happen for you to make that work. Where's the, where's the benefit? The benefit is, is you create an income very quickly, which can keep you in the game. It can pay for your own affiliate marketing. It can pay for a lot of things and help you feel more confident as you're moving forward. Now, the benefits of content marketing is that it's passive. It's very, very passive. You do the work once, but it lasts for a long time. It takes, it will be out there forever. Whenever you post a video on YouTube, it's up there forever and that can be potentially found by new people all the time who are searching and looking for that content especially with google if you're doing blog posts if you're doing you know anything seo related that can be up on the internet and be found over time there's things that might be included in this like running ads like running ads on facebook to really get the word out that is an excellent way by the way if you have it in your budget that is a fantastic way to reach a lot of people very, very, very quickly. It's awesome. Facebook is getting so smart about how they market to people. They have a ton of information and data to really help you reach the people that you want to reach. 
Now, how do we mesh this all together? Like I said, in my opinion, I think starting with networking and prospecting is so important because you need those skills to be able to close your leads. When you're doing passive content, it takes a while to build up. It takes a while to really get moving and start to produce leads on a regular basis. You're not going to see much income and it feels kind of tedious. You don't really feel like you're winning until those leads start rolling in, which they will if you can stay consistent with it and keep moving forward. But when those leads start coming in, if you've been good and you've been out there networking and prospecting and talking to people, you'll be able to close those leads. In fact, you'll have a small benefit because they'll already know you. They would have already watched some of your videos, absorbed some of your content, and that's going to help you close that sale for sure. Having your feet in both skill sets is so beneficial for so many reasons. It is absolutely essential that you have some of both. Now. Consider what your personality is like. This is going to help you understand your strategy. If you're more outgoing, if you're that outgoing person that loves to talk to people, loves to associate, you're a bit of a social butterfly and you're doing some kind of network marketing, affiliate marketing, using those social media sites, then that is the way you should go. That's your personality. You should get out there and share, share your time with people, get to know people, build relationships. If you're more of an introvert, then you definitely want to start with content marketing and just expect that over time it will start to produce results, but not, not right away. So just think about it. What kind of personality do you have? Where would, what kind of business would you like to have? Honestly, like I said, I think you need a little bit of both. I think you have to add some from both sides of the table to really start creating the success that you want. And you put your focus in that area where you're strong. If you're introverted, but you don't mind writing, you like writing, you like shooting videos, you like doing research and content and all of that, make that your focus and spend less time on networking and prospecting. If you're that social butterfly, make that your focus. Make being social your focus and meeting people and connecting, make that priority while in the background you start to build that passive income, that passive lead flow, I like to call them forever leads, from your content marketing, from your blog, your videos, whatever. I think it's a combination if you really want to push the cart forward in a successful way. Imagine having done some networking and prospecting, got fairly good at it, managed to make some money, created a little bit of residual, and then the next thing you know, your content marketing starts to kick in and you start bringing in all kinds of leads into your business, which you then start closing left and right because you've already been practicing, believe me going to happen and it's absolutely beautiful when it does that's my vision of, of what it looks like when you're just getting started with affiliate marketing as a beginner or even network marketing for that for that matter if you're doing one or the other and you're using the internet this is the strategy that i definitely hope you would employ that way you can start having success you can start living your dreams start doing the things that you want to do start getting that time freedom start getting those things we're all after Right on guys, thank you so much for being here. I absolutely appreciate you. If you found this useful, make sure that you put a like on the video, drop me a comment and share the video out for someone else so they can get some results today. As always, if you do wanna take it to the next level, if you do wanna go big, if you wanna go big, click the link in the description, download the Online Champions Playbook. It can help you develop a plan for both of these, not only for your marketing strategies, but for your mindset, for your discipline, for, for everything else in your life. So definitely check it out. It'll help you get there. Much love. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now, my friends.